Welcome back to the range of playthrough. How's everyone doing today? So, oh, oh, he's looking a little suicidal. Do it! Do it, bitch! I moved my bed from up here to down there. I'm in my own little room down there. I'm gonna help you off. Ooh. There we go. <gasps> no, he got hit on the way. Who the fuck is this? <laughs> okay. Okay. I don't know what the fuck that was. Oh boy, just came up and destroyed me. It's all good. Oh. That's yeah, completely all good because I slept at my fucking base. Well, that's just great luck right there. So, we're going to go find a biome here. And that biome being the biome with the stuff, you know? No, that biome being the swamp biome from the Gabe Has Ones mod. And we are on a hunt to find it. Why isn't this water coming down here? I have no clue. There's a worm that came down here, though. Now, from what I know, the biome... Whoa, what the fuck? What is happening? Is my game... Is this, like, server lag on a single-player world? I don't know. I hear a loud airplane. You guys might be able to hear that. I don't know. Probably not. So, let's head down. Because I think it's down to the right of the spawn. I don't remember. Something like that. But we're rocking a small world, so I feel like we'd be able to find it either way. Come on in, everybody. Is in water? Water isn't people. Is that racist? I'm sorry if that's racist. <laughs> My bad if I offended the uh, water race. Hold up. Let's uh, eh. place a torch. Get out of here, you eyeball. Just keep on going down. We're veering off a little bit to the left, but it's all good. For some reason, I'm not drowning anymore. Does this give me water breathing? Yeah, that's good. That is good. So I can explore the aquatic depths by him wherever the hell I want now. I don't even gotta worry about it. But let's keep on going down. Here we go. We're ending up somewhere. Let's really get all the cobweb. Cobweb is always a good thing. Now, my question is how deep is it? Probably fairly deep down we have to go. But I'm excited to see this biome. I'm all down for these biome mods. It is really cool adding new stuff to explore in Terraria is always a good thing. Let's go flat out some more water. Break some of these pots while I'm at it. Are we coming up on some? We got a granite biome over here. There's some stuff to the left. Hard to guess. Ah, like he told me. Gabe told me where. But I forgot if it was left or right. I know it's below spawn. I don't know if it's left or right. If I were to guess, I'd say right. But... We're just going to go opposite what I guess and go to the left. That's, that's always a good thing, right? Go against what you think. It works sometimes. Why am I? Why do I have the freeze effect on me? Are we in an ice biome? Motherfucker, we are. How the hell did we get here? Sure, I'll take it. Okay. Do I need some, like, anti-ice... Anti-ice reduction. Something like that. But, I'm going to go to the left, actually. Well, yeah, because I said we're going to the left. Because I don't trust myself to believe it's on the right. So this is exactly what we're going to do. Are we done being, like, slowed underwater? Thank God. I was already tired of that. But it's looking a little bit more uh, spunky over here to the left. And I'm, I want to see if this spunk will lead to what we're trying to find. Okay, so this is like an underground mushroom biome. Nice and regular mushroom biome. Still no swamp spotted. Let's sit over here. Boom. Nothing over there, so we'll head back down here. Life quartz, is this still a good thing to get? Like, I don't... I don't know when the next time I'll play a multiplayer series is. Probably not, like, anytime soon ever. Just because I don't like the instability of having a bunch of mods together. And then I don't like the plain... I wouldn't say plainness, but I, wouldn't, I don't like the... Not as much variety, having just like one or two mods installed to make stability a thing on a server. But I'll wait a while. Cause I do really want to do a uh, full healer playthrough. That's pretty hard to do when like servers break on me all the time. On us all the time. Probably did like four worlds and all those worlds ended up breaking. <laughs> but it's all good. We won't be worrying about any multiplayer series anytime soon. Alright, so to the left there's nothing. It's to the right. Guaranteed to the right. So, let's start from back up here. Alright, I looked it up. Always below the spawn, slightly to the right. 
always below the spawn slightly to the right. Now the question is, <laughs> how low below the spawn? I have no clue. Why am I going to the left? What the fuck? I just got told it's to the right. Well, not not this moment I got told, but on the Discord, he typed it in, or he told everyone on the Discord where to find it. So, below the spawn, slightly to the right. Below the spawn, slightly to the right. So we're going this way. Now, question is, you're gonna be maybe like looking at my accessories, like, what the fuck are you rocking right now? Like, no wonder why you're so ass right now. Yeah, I, I agree, like, my accessories kind of garbage right now. Still not in hard mode on this world yet, which I gotta do that soon. But, uh, hey, it works out for now. You know what I say? It works out for now. It's okay. <laughs> not doing the greatest stuff. Holy shit, can you drop, like, any more items next time? I'd appreciate it if you actually drop some items. What a jerk. Who the hell drops like five items like that? It's like cluttered my inventory in a second. Okay. Anything in here? It's an undead Viking. It's always a good sign. Uh, let's get rid of some stuff. Yep, sure. Get rid of all that stuff. Below spawn slightly to the right. We're going all the way to the bottom. Pretty much going to hell at this point. Do I have bombs? Just go to fucking hell, might as well. I don't see no reason not to. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I thought I'd grab onto something. I didn't grab down. Grab onto anything. Hey, how's everybody doing down here? Oh, well, everyone's dead, so. Can't be doing too fine when you're all dead. So, let's look over here. Let's look slightly to the right over here. I don't see anything. So, we'll go down even more. We'll go down. How about here? How about right here? That torch is gonna break. Let me place the torch like right there. We'll go down right here. All right, we ended up in a crystallium biome, so it's a good sight. And maybe there's some ranged weapons here. <laughs> maybe we can go on the hunt for ranged weapons again. This is the first crystal biome of this world that I've seen. Let's see some of these other weapons I got. We made it to hell too, so it is higher up, is what it seems like. Hey man, how you doing down here? Multiple crystal archers? Whoa there, chill out. Oh shit, hey. Please tell me I put it in here. I did. Oh, look at that. Actually did something, okay. Hold on, let me put a bunch of stuff away that I can get rid of later. Okay. Come on, range stuff. No, oh, that doesn't help. I don't even think I'm gonna pick it up unless it's a ranged weapon. <gasps> we actually found a fucking ranged weapon? What? <laughs> I was joking this whole time. What the heck? <laughs> it's like a little pea shooter. Alright, let's see how effective it is, though. Wait, I don't... What's the thing that actually does the damage? Okay, so it shoots a bullet, and then it shoots crystals after the bullet. Right? Smooth as a crystal. That's cool. Okay, way better than I thought it was gonna be. Oh, I missed that chest right here. Oh, there's another one in here. Well, shit. Just give me all of them at once, why don't you? I appreciate it. Wait a minute. Moist stone. This is moist stone. My foot's falling asleep. We, we found some moist stone. That means we're close to the swamp biome. I can feel it. Is moist stone a part of the swamp biome? I have no clue. It can be like a glitching aquatic depth for all we know, but this... Oh! 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 The music is bumping right now. I gotta talk louder. Alright, I'm gonna talk louder because a lot of time modded music does like oh, completely override my voice. Actually, hold up. Alright, I turned down the volume. I don't know how much it'll affect. I turned the volume down like six or seven. Six or seven notches. So let's keep on going up. Oh, here we go. We're getting closer into the swamp biome. Hold up, this chest up in here? I'm trying to get some chest though. Excuse me, there's a fly. Dude, fuck off. These dudes need to fuck off. I'm just trying to like make it through these little cracks in the wall and I'm getting attacked by them. Hold on, I wanna see what's in this ice chest though, really quickly. Just really quickly. Um no, might as well since I'm at it. No, that's not what I wanted. No. Quick stack. Why the fuck do I have clouds in my inventory? Let's see some pad tie. Black leech! Watch out guys, black leech. Okay. Uh, but, uh, archery potion, sure, let's drink that right now. Okay, let's keep on going up. Keep breaking through, I have a chandelier in my inventory, where the fuck did that come from? 
We need to find like where do you go? We need to find where like the actual biome starts. Mud blocks. Okay, so these are mud blocks. I'm gonna break like half of this biome. I think there's a lot of problems that happen here in this uh, generation. As in there's a lot of biomes like trying to override each other. Jeez, where yeah, where the hell is the top of this place? Aha! Here we are in the icy swamp biome. Look at this. Oh look. A nice big ass room here. Bye bye. Oh, where'd the music go? Oh, there it is. Swamp wood. Hell yeah, I want some swamp wood. Who the hell just touched me? Who did that? I know something touched me. I don't know where it went, but something touched me. I can't open up the chest or anything? Oh, what in the hell? Guys, I don't know what's going on. <laughs> What is happening to my game? I just... I don't even want to see what's in the chest anymore. Okay, let's just check out the rest of the biome, though. I haven't seen any, like, big enemies. Oh, here we go. Swamp Slime over here to the right. Some enemies. What's up with these leeches? They keep teleporting to me. Alright. Nice little, like, stalactites? Stalagmites? Which one is the one that hangs downward? I don't know. Will this chest, like, break me again? Swamp slime! I never use any of these other weapons. Oh no, we can actually open this one. Muddy Iron Sword. Look at that. Let's just uh, throw some of this stuff away. Like, why the fuck do I have so much random stuff? Screw to all of it. Okay. Overgrown chest. This chest looks cool. Let's use our bubble weapon. Beautiful bubble. Oh my god, he went flying. So we got a lot of swamp. Swamp things. We got swamp jellyfish. Ooh. Very cool. Did he make a noise when he died? It sounded like he made a different. He made a different noise when he died. Do I have the water walking potion? I need to drink that because I'm tired of like falling into this ice water of death and getting slowed 24/7. It's a big biome. There's a lot of ground to cover in this biome. Let's go upwards. Does this lead us? Yeah, this leads us out of the biome. Okay. So let's go back down then some of these slimes with our beautiful bow that we never use. I'm just saving this bow for late game at this point. Just wait until we can craft more stuff out of it. Okay, we got a little ice biome, swamp biome chest here. Combination of the two. Okay, I can't even get in there. You know how hard it is to get in there? There's a lot of mud everywhere. Okay, so, oh, here's an easier one to get to. Might as well, like, loot these. Huh? There's no reason not to loot these chests or see what's in them. Alright, we're back out of the swamp biome. Let's head back in. See if I can find any more unique enemies before we bail out. But this is a fairly still work in progress biome. And this is a really, really good soundtrack. Singular. This is a good song. This is a good music. This is... Where's the word I'm looking for? Just go. This is a good song for this biome. Nice and chilled out. Uh, hopefully he's not louder than me. We haven't seen any swamp trees. I see this. Maybe this is a swamp tree. No, that's a boreal wood tree. <laughs> I said I said that before I cut it down because I just knew. Okay, maybe if we try this. Mm, that didn't do anything. There we go. There we go. Yeah, this is a swamp sapling. Look at that. I don't think any of them will grow. But, uh, at least we found one. But look how big this biome is. Holy hell. It's pretty big. So, that's all in this biome. This chest, I can't even loot this. Look, I start breaking when I go near it. Like, I physically, I start breaking going near it. I can't even click on it or anything. What's going on? So, we're out here in the desert killing the youngins. Because we're trying to find a way to summon in... A boss that goes by the name of the Antlion Queen from the Nightmares Unleashed mod. Kakatar up in the mix? My boy was up in the mix. Alright, yeah, let's see if we can find one, though. And from what I've got from the little research I did, we just gotta kill uh, her children. Which are these these boys here. What the hell? <laughs> My boy sliding through the wall? Just, uh. Oh, I burped. My bad. There's a bunch of them this direction. So let's see if we can go this direction. Whip this out. Try and use a variety of weapons here. 
and I always use my OP snowball cannon. Why am I mining this direction? Oh, see, look, I could have gotten there a lot faster if I just went like up here, but you know, whatever. I'll just take the longer way. Excuse me, I'm trying to mine this, mine these blocks. So I got a cool boss to fight in the next episode. But I'm saving for the next episode because I do want to fight this boss first. Now, there's a lot of bosses and mini bosses, or just bosses, I guess, from Nightmare Unleashed mod, but. The forum page has like such little information. It's pretty hard to figure out all of them. So sorry if we miss any. I'm trying to do this all before we go into hard mode again. Because we weren't even really too far into hard mode. So it's not like we're missing too much. And I don't have mods that really scale enemies. Like at all. So we shouldn't really be missing anything. Or losing any like challenge. I mean I downgraded my armor pretty much. Because this has weaker... Uh, your defense so i'm pretty much downgraded my armor we're, we're at pretty hard mode here this is the only advantage i have <laughs> it's this weapon right here and even then it's not that it's not too much of an advantage i just kill enemies quicker which i guess can be an advantage sometimes but who cares who cares at this point i'll just use the bubble gun for the rest of the game how about that bubble gun only hydro cannon only for the rest of the game it's a 5 to 10% chance for the uh, Antlion Queen to spawn. And I don't know where she would spawn. Ow, these dudes. They synchronized needle. And synchronized needle shot on me. Okay. Hello, Antlion Swarm. You want to be the one that... No? Okay. No, why don't they drop wings? There's no mod that adds in anything like that. Antlion wings. Antlion Swarmer wings. Little baby wings. Like, I'm talking about... Maybe, like... There should be like pre-hard mode wings that aren't exactly pre-hard mode wings, but they have a little like effect. So maybe like, now I may be stretching here. Hopefully a uh, mod developer can hear this. This is an interesting idea I have here. But maybe the Antlion Swarmer they can drop, you know, some wings that aren't exactly like wings like this, where you can actually fly for a little bit of time. But instead, it can be kind of like a double jump, and where you can like flutter. You know how Yoshi. From Super Mario has that little like running in place ability when he double jumps. I'm talking about that, but with with the uh, swarmer wings, that would be that's an interesting idea to me. Now, if I knew how to mod or anything, that that would be that'd be the only mod I'd ever create. Antlion swarmer wings, so it'd be like a double jump. Do I have anything I can double jump with? I don't think I do. But just imagine a double jump, a little bit a little bit longer than a double jump but just like just fluttering in the air so it's like you jump and then you just flutter in the air for a little bit and then you drop down so it had the same height as like just a regular cloud in a bottle but you just hover for a little bit like a second or two that's, that's an interesting idea to me. i don't know about you guys but i find that idea interesting i'm not biased or anything towards it it's not my idea and i'm like whoa that's a good idea but hopefully we can get this and like clean the summon soon i guess i'm just gonna kill a bunch of them off camera uh, fucking genocide on these ant lines. I'll be right back. Hey there, we just got a weapon, a ranged weapon from one of the what the fuck are they calling the digger dudes, the worm digger worms, whatever. Ion blaster. Now I've seen this. I think this is from Tremor. Maybe from Thorium. It might be from Thorium actually. But I've seen this weapon a couple times throughout my playthroughs, and it's a cool weapon. And now I can actually use it. Five percent chance to uh, inflict frostburn. Is it nighttime? It has to be nighttime. I don't think this does 29 damage. I guess really good damage. It's a pretty slow weapon. But hey, might as well use it while I farm for these guys. Aha! Uh -huh. We found him. Look at that. Anti. Oh shit! Yo! <laughs> I didn't expect it to spawn so quick. There's so many enemies everywhere. Antline Queen's in range that you killed their baby. Hey, that's not my fault. Okay, it is my fault. There's so many enemies like crammed into here. Excuse me, everybody. Uh, I'm gonna have to like rip through everyone here. I'm very sorry for all this. Okay, let's uh, try this weapon out. Hopefully this will work. I don't know it's not working. There's too many uh, things in the way. All right, bubbles it is. Young bubbles it is. There we go. We're getting there with this. We're knocking her up. I really like that this weapon has knockout. Makes it like makes it like ten times more effective. Maybe not effective, but ten times cooler. All right, what about some of this? Oh, here we go. Oh, this is an easy kill right here. Get that big bitch. She's a little thick. Okay, another one spawned. I don't like this like never-ending cycle that can possibly happen. 
I mean, might as well kill another one, though. We need to just bail after we kill her. Okay, you know, I kind of want to find another one. <laughs> just one, just one more. All right, let's see what she gives us. Hopefully, we don't get attacked by that, like, mysterious void guy. I've been attacked by him, like, four times while I've been up here. But let's see what we get. Just open all of them. Looks like we all get the same stuff. Deadly egg sack. Uh, summons a winged ante to fight for you. Look at that. It's a little Annie. Okay. And then let's see the item right here. See, this is OP. I saw this. I saw this while looking at uh, items for this mod. Menacing Antlion Heart. 65% summon damage. Max minions increased by 4. Now that's a good boss to fight right there early game. If you're a summoner. So I'll be looking out if we have this mod next time we do summer. I'll be looking out for this mod. When it comes to that. But let's equip it. Let's see what happens. Let's see uh, how much damage this does does right now. It's 24. Wait, what? Why'd it go down? It went down? Is a minus? Oh, instead of 100%. Okay. See, that makes more sense. Instead of 100% summon damage, it does 65. So it does balance itself out. Because now you get more summons. So it kind of just like even out everything. Alright, well, might as well put these guys to work. Just kill an enemy for me. Where'd they go? <laughs> Come on. Just kill some people. Alright, there you go. That's what they do. That's all I'm showcasing of them. So, bro, what the fuck? I was getting, like, magnetized. My game just started, like, moving that direction. So, it's pretty cool. Uh, I'll keep the heart. Probably won't use it. Egg sack. Sure, I'll keep one of those because that boss is somewhat hard to find. So let's put this in here next to the good old uh, bone, muddy iron sword. I don't know why I said I was about to say bone. Oh, because there's bone one right there. But boom, there's that. So let's sell all this stuff. I'm going to store everything else. I got a lot of gold. So it's always nice when I got a lot of gold. So finally, let's do what I've been waiting to do for a while. And that is fight the queen bee in the harder form. And I used a lot of this weapon, so I can get rid of it already. Uh, where is the jungle? To the left? Oh, shit. That's really far. <laughs> I'll be right back. Alright, let's do this. I am ready for this. I wouldn't say I'm hyped for it, but I'm ready for it. I hope. Wait, was I probably playing Unprepared to Die Edition already? I was. Okay. Excuse me, sir. You're gonna have to, like, move. Oh. Bye. Is he coming back down? He ain't coming back down. Alright. Let's do this. Hello. Nice to see you, Queen Bee. You're... Always a nice face to see. You're always the kindest person I know. You wouldn't kill me, would you? You wouldn't harm me. You wouldn't harm a fly. Because you're a queen, spot fly. Hopefully we fight a fly boss soon. Wink! Wink! That's a hint to something. Alright. Let's uh figure out what's going to be the most effective weapon that isn't my extremely OP uh, snowball gun. Possibly this weapon if the projectiles weren't so like flat. Maybe I'll just stick to the hydro cannon for now. What do I have equipped? Yeah, we're good on equips. This isn't going too bad. She has 23k health. It's a good bit of health there. Okay, we just gotta get ready. Oh, she's shooting stingers again. She's shooting stingers! Watch out now. She got a good sting. She got a good sting. Maybe we'll be finding a mechanical version of her in the future. Wink, wink. That's a hint to something. <laughs> Alright. See, this is a good time to get this off. If I can time it perfectly, there you go. We can get that, like, multiple hit off. I don't think that weapon is that good, though, when it comes to just, like, shooting straight up. We have to, it has to be close range. I'm going to do this until I can heal again. Because I don't want to die. Ow. I don't want to die and I want to have a chance at beating her. Because she's Queen Bee, I rank that as, like, top five pre-hard okay top three pre-hard mode expert bosses it would be skeletron number one queen bee number two and the wild flesh number three expert pre-hard mode bosses vanilla edition ah don't get me started on the mod i should do a video like that maybe i'll do a video like that in the future we'll see we'll see, we'll see. this is pretty much my uh my weaker snowball cannon is this weapon right here the fucking Shark Storm. Probably because it's unreal. It has pretty good uh, capabilities to be. It's good enough to be compared to the Snowball Cannon. But obviously, Snowball Cannon reigns superior all day, every day. 
Alright, I'm gonna start shooting this because I have to aim less when I shoot it. That's always a good thing. I don't know. I don't really know what to use. This seems like a one fight. We have healing available to us whenever we need it. So let's just let's just try and finish her off here with just some uh, different weaponry. It's a good crowd control weapon. Obviously, probably not as good crowd control as this would be, but we aren't point blank enough to be using it. So we'll just stick to this. Hold up, do I see an item on the floor right there? I see an item on the floor. It looks like it's combined with a piece of wheat. <laughs> if I'm guessing right, this is a cinch slime launcher. Okay. What does it do? magic damage I'm not gonna use it all right have we won yet oh shit she's fucking firing she's firing see this is where you get yourself killed doing this why you gotta do this oh god okay she's firing off Whoa. slowed in the water okay she's firing off rapidly I'm firing off rapidly that's what's about to go down yeah we did it there you go prepare to die edition queen bee we did it oh my god look at all the goods nectar do I have a pet? Wait a minute. Where the fuck has my pet been? <laughs> Wait, what? It's a light pet? I was wondering what was going on that whole time. I was like, she's kind of quiet recently. See, my pet has been equipped in the wrong slot, apparently. That's kind of weird. I don't really need the shadow orb, whatever. It's all good. So, that's going to end off this episode. I guess I can show off this weapon really quick. Whoa. Whoa.